call the Energy and Commerce Committee back to order and uh, recognize the gentleman from New Jersey, Mr. Lance, for four minutes for purposes of questions. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, you are here today because you are uh, the face of Facebook and uh, you have come here voluntarily and our questions are based upon our uh, concern about what has occurred and how to move forward. Um, I'm sure you uh, have concluded based upon what we've asked that we are deeply offended by censoring of content inappropriately by Facebook. It, it, examples have been raised, a Roman Catholic University, a state senate candidate in Michigan. I would be offended if this censoring were occurring on the left as well as the right, and I want you to know that. And um, do you take from what we have indicated so far that in a bipartisan fashion, Congress is offended by inappropriate censoring of content? Congressman, yes, th this is extremely important, and I think the, the point that you raise is particularly important, that uh, we've heard in today a number of examples of um, where we may have made content review mistakes on conservative content, but I can assure you that there are a lot of folks who think that we make content moderation or content review mistakes um, of liberal content as well. Fair enough. Uh, my point is that we don't favor censoring in any way, so long as it doesn't involve hate speech or violence or terrorism, and of course the examples today indicate quite the contrary, number one. Number two, uh, Congresswoman Blackburn has mentioned her legislation. I'm a co-sponsor of the browser legislation. I commend it to your attention, to the attention of your company. It is for the entire ecosystem. It is for uh, uh, ISPs and edge providers. It is not just for one or the other. It is an opt-in system, similar to the system that exists in Europe. Uh, uh, might I respectfully request of you, Mr. Zuckerberg, that you and your company review the browser legislation, and I would like your support for that legislation after your review of it. We will review it and get back to you. Thank you very much. Your COO, Cheryl Sandberg, last week appeared on the Today program, and she admitted the possibility that additional breaches in personal information uh, could be discovered by the current audits. Quote, we're doing an investigation, we're going to do the audits, and yes, we think it's possible. That's why we're doing the audits. And uh, then uh, the COO went on to say, Facebook cared about privacy all along, but I think we got the balance wrong. Do you agree with the statement of your COO? Yes, Congressman, I do. We were trying to balance two equities. On the one hand, making it so that people had data portability, the ability to bring their data to another app in order to have new experiences in other places, which I think is a value that we all care about. On the other hand, we also need to balance making sure that everyone's information is protected. And I think that we, we didn't get that balance right up front. Thank you. I, I, I certainly concur with uh, the statement of the COO as affirmed by you today that you got the balance wrong. And then regarding Cambridge Analytica, the fact that uh, 300,000 individuals or so gave consent, but that certainly didn't mean they gave consent to, to 87 million friends. Do you believe that that action violated your consent agreement with the Federal Trade Commission? We do not believe it did, but regardless, we take a broader view of what our responsibility is to protect people's privacy. And if a developer who people gave their information to, in this case Alexander Kogan, then goes and in violation of, of his agreement with us, sells the data to Cambridge Analytica, that's a big issue. And I think people have a right to be very upset. I'm upset that that happened. And we need to make sure that we put in place the systems to prevent that from happening again. Thank you. I think it may have violated the uh, agreement with the Federal Trade Commission, and I'm sure that will be uh, determined in the future. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, gentleman from New Jersey. Recognize the gentlelady from Florida, Ms. Castro.